Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. <clears throat> yeah, it still ain't a hundred percent. But I'm getting gooder and gooder every day. Still trying to get moved into this truck, get organized. Believe it or not, it takes a minute to uh, figure out where you want everything in a new truck. Because you don't have the cubby holes and stuff like you had in the last one. And there's certain things that you just want kind of close by. So, uh, <coughs> thought I'd update you a little bit. I know there's a lot of people that seen the videos I put up over the weekend. Uh, me and Mama still ain't smoking. Lord, I don't lost count of how many days it is. Dad coming. There's the boy calling. Hold on. Alright, I'm back, folks. Uh, while I was on the phone, I looked the 29, day 29, which was, I think, Friday. Yeah, that was Friday, I believe. So, we've had Saturday, tw the 30th, 30th day, Sunday, the 31st, 32nd, 33. So, today's like the 34th day of uh, not smoking. We've done real good. Saturday was just a normal day on not smoking, so to speak. Although I was around a few people who smoked. It didn't bother me that bad. Sunday, we fell a tree by my house. It got pretty hairy. And uh, it was very stressful. And like I told everybody there, if this didn't make me smoke, I think I've got her whooped. And it didn't make me smoke, so I'm hoping I got it whooped. So, uh, we are on the lesser patches. I don't remember if I told you that or not. I've got like four more days of stage two, which is the 14 milligram. I'm going to cut it back down to stage three, which is seven milligram. So I'm not Jones and there's bad. I'm not doing, uh, I don't even know if I got any of that nicotine gum in here. I ain't got a clue. Uh, I have looked to see if she left any anywhere. <coughs> and uh, I was using it when uh, it got pretty, the Jones it got pretty bad. Now I just grab regular old gum, sugar free regular old gum. Uh, if I get extremely bad, I do have the nicotine lodges up here that I don't like because they're mint. Uh, I detest mint. So, uh, <clears throat> overall, whooping it. Uh, let's see. We got a little bit of rain at the house after uh, I did that video of the tour of my property. We uh, Sunday night, we got about an inch at the house. And it really put a lot of water in my pond. I kept meaning to get a video of it, but I wasn't doing real good health-wise. And uh, I just never got out to do it. But by the time I get back, he'll, I hope he's done and gone. He should have my overflows in and everything else done. But uh, we'll see where that goes. And I might show you a little bit more of the property. We had six fires going the other day. They're still smoking today. We fired them up Saturday. And this morning they were still, some of them out there smoking. That's after the rain. So we had a bit of coals going on. Uh, so he's got to do something with the remnants there. I don't know what all he's going to do. And do something with all them ashes. You know, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Stayed up waiting on the election last night, but I'm going to make a whole different video about all that stuff on the election. So, uh, I'm back out here at it by myself. Normally, uh, when uh, I go packing up and getting ready to go, the dogs know it. And uh, they're always antsy and fighting me to get out the door. They want to go. This time they was kind of hiding on the couch. I think coming out for two months with Mama was about all they could handle for a while. 
they were not anxious to go. I thought it was funny and cute, but and Mama wasn't a whole lot better. I think she was ready to stay home for a while. Oh, so much for the glory of trucking, huh? It's always amazed me that people think this job out here is so easy. All you're doing is driving around. You're just driving. You're a paid tourist. Look, you can drive around and see all this neat stuff. Uh-huh. But when they come out of here with you for a little while, most of them after a week, two weeks, they're ready to go home. Then all of a sudden, it ain't just riding around. Because they find out you ain't doing nothing but riding around and taking an ass whooping. These trucks will beat you to death. They're not Cadillacs. It ain't your couch. And then the hours that you have to work is a whole different ballgame. You know? So, and the wife knew. She'd been out here a lot. So she knew she just needed a refresher course. Boy, did she get one. So, uh, and I don't know what we'll do for Thanksgiving yet. We got a couple of things we're thinking about. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, that's about next time I plan on going home was whether uh, I go home for Thanksgiving or whether I go get her and go somewhere else for Thanksgiving. We'll see what happens. So there you go. You're updated on Papa Joe. Sitting down here at Pepsi in Houston picking up a load to go to Pepsi in Tulsa. What fun. So, hey, remember, God loves you and so do I. You have a blessed evening now. Good night.